I want to start yeah. with your reaction to it, because, again, as the first pre-juror to win America's Favorite House Guest, you have this unique opportunity where you got to see over the past, you know, six or seven weeks how everyone has reacted to you. You got to see the ramp up to yeah. this result. So while it is such like a, a feeling of gratitude that you're expressing right now, tell me, was it a surprise? What was your expectation going into this finale as to whether or not you'd walk out $50,000 richer? Uh, yes, it honestly was surprising. I mean, I... I had a good feeling, but when I have good feelings about things, I really doubt them. I try to not get in my head. I don't want to count the chickens before they hatch type scenario. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I was looking at all the different polls, and then Angela was at the top, and Leah was at the top, and Chelsea worked her way up, and Quinn was up there, and it was just so – you can't believe anything online. I just didn't know. I was like – I just, I just – was crossing my fingers and doing as many posts and things and uh just trying to stay relevant from getting kicked out so much earlier and uh i really am grateful and blessed and honored to feel like i have left somewhat of a mark on this game um when i was just didn't model it after anyone else's. I was just being me, playing this game, being my wild, dumb, goofy, weird, competitive self. And and uh, so it really makes me feel understood, uh, especially being the younger brother who's always trying to be understood and all this stuff. Um, yeah, so I really appreciate being heard. And uh, I feel very understood by a lot of people, which is uh, getting emotional. But it's a feeling I think a lot of people – year and four so uh i can't put it in words but i'm so grateful and thankful guys to say you were bouncing off the walls of that studio would be an understatement i mean what was the feeling like for you to come back obviously it was also loaded with the fact that you know you had flowers in hand you're reuniting with rubina but also again you probably had in the back of your head this idea that there might be this prize for you so talk to me about your sort of uh working through this entire two-hour finale um, I just felt like I already won as cheesy as it is, but I mean, Rubin is the sweetest, nicest person I've ever met. Uh, so I didn't, yes, I cared about it, but I didn't at the same time, you know, I felt very happy and blessed to have filled, fulfilled my definition of a big brother experience, aside from winning, uh, but to have, have her on top of that, um, and having the AI instigator money prize, you know, I was really like, I, I it, it just couldn't get better. And then it got better. I'm I like, yeah, I'm going to freak out. Uh, the second I see everybody, I'm still holding a lot in, but the, any, I'm, I'm going to bust through a wall later, man. I'm freaking out. I'm going to be like the Kool-Aid dude going through a wall. I am so excited. I can't wait to see everybody after and really connect and hug and not like just have to do the show. So yeah, it was, I've been holding a lot in. I am a lot weirder and louder than you guys saw. So run it up now, baby. Someone get me a shot of tequila. I'm ready to go. Oh my God. <laughs> there we go. Well, I mean, on that note, again, you have been sort of, away for the past, you know, month and change, but you haven't completely, you know, been cloistered away from all the other pre-jury house guests. What has it been like to sort of interact with some of your fellow pre-jurors? And I guess more specifically, what is the status on you and Lisa? Were you able to make up over some glittered cocktails? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No. Uh, okay. First question. It has been lovely to reunite with everybody like Kenny and Matt and I had some moments when they came to New York and we had a great time, but all of us have been FaceTiming, but there's nothing like in person. And, and it's so nice and lovely. And then um, with Lisa, I like surprised her at a party she was throwing in WeHo. She looked like she got evicted when I first saw her, you know, she was in shock about open and, uh, and, I wasn't aware as to how much I affected her 
and my yes, I was making fun of her, and but I was doing it out of a fun, lighthearted way, not thinking she just met me and doesn't know that I'm like I that's sort of the term of endearment, but also like you know I de- I felt horrible when she explained how hard it was and and what she had to go through and i we had coffee the next day for hours and it was really just something where i never want anyone to feel like that i was the younger brother i was picked on and bullied and stuff so it's really it's it was very nice to have those moments with lisa you know it was fun in the mix with everybody but then we had our one-on-one with coffee and um I love her. I appreciate her. She is a great human being. And and any whatever's I was doing in there, I blacked out. We were just having fun and being in this house. And someone says one thing, your brain runs with it. But no, nah, I absolutely love Lisa. She is an amazing person. Um, I feel like we have made amends. You know, it might take a bit for the scar to fully heal, but uh, I'm... My heart goes out to her. I am very sorry from the bottom of my heart, and I hope I can do something to make it up to you. That was I. I feel terrible. So. What What's been your reaction to watching the rest of this season? I mean, you and as a Hoh backdoor Chelsea and call her out as one of the big puppet masters of the season, and she goes on to kind of prove that and really dominate the game. What's it been like for you to watch the rest of this from, you know, uh, your home watching all this stuff play out? Can you say that to everyone that was still in the house, please, man? <laughs> like they forgot and forgot about Quinn for a bit. And I'm just like, they are so good at picking up their cards and doing it fast and efficient and in order. And they picked them up and they were like, no, I'm still here to play. So I just, Chelsea and Quinn did a phenomenal job at being, being like, you know, blindsided by this thing and just having it spilt out in front of them and just doing the work they needed to do to get back to where they were to like instill that trust in everyone else. And it was very impressed in those two doing that. Yeah, it was, it was great. It was great. Let's, Chelsea's let's a beast. Talk- <laughs> Absolutely. Let's talk yeah. some next steps here. I mean, I know it's it's going to be, you know, uh, the first time you've seen Rubina in a bit, but do you have any plans formulating in your mind besides the flowers? I've heard that you have promised to take her on a trip and listen, Hell you, got yeah. little, you got you got some money to spend now. Hell yeah. I heard her talking about the Maldives in the house and I'm from other places. She's been in Japan. I've never been to Japan. So we got spots uh, wherever she wants. I'm down, uh, and yeah, I'm staying out here for my birthday. She asked me on stage. I was like, yeah, I was watching everything. I'm definitely staying out. I heard you say it. I'm here. I got it. And uh, since you wanted to celebrate the holidays with me, maybe she'll come back to New York for uh, Halloween. Who knows? But uh, just beyond excited for everything. <laughs> That's amazing. So, Obviously, major imprint on Big Brother. But what are you looking to do next? You know, out there in the reality TV universe, if you had your pick of what would be the next show for Tucker, what would it be and why? Do you have any in mind? You know, there's a number that float around. Uh, I don't know if there's anyone that is before the other or not. They all sound Fun and I'm interested in all of them. Uh, so I don't know. Whoever comes knocking at that door first, man, I'm ready to run it up. I have been itching for 45 days since I got out of there to compete. Uh, so let's go. I'm up for whatever. The challenge, Survivor, the Summit looks crazy, amazing race. Uh Get me started. Throw me on reindeer game and bring me back for some for some uh, all stars. I'm ready for whatever. Well, on that note, with the last part, I do want to ask if you are given the opportunity to play again, what is the biggest thing that you're going to take away from your first 45 days to hopefully extend for 45 days and beyond if you come back? Knowing I have an amazing amount of support 
and fans, that was the hardest thing. I didn't even think my family was watching. My brothers made like 30 Twitters and just went nuts, just being rascals online. All my friends did it. All my friends and my family were all in a group chat. And then you come out and then it's this in America. It's that was. That was one of the hardest mental struggles for me in there. So knowing I have that, I feel like, you know, I might have got into fourth gear a couple of times in that house, but I still had fifth and sixth. If I made it past that, that week I got evicted, you know, Joseph and I were about to kick it in gear. Okay. So, uh, yeah, just, you, I just, I feel so understated to be like, thank you guys for supporting me. It means the world to me. But you have no idea unless you've ever been in there or been locked away from society and all that. I love and appreciate every message every time someone stops me on the street at anything. People will be like, stop me on the street. I'm like, can you do a video for my mom? I'm like, you better FaceTime mom. Let me talk to her right now, you know? Uh, so... Yeah, that's been the best part about it that I think would elevate my focus a lot more because that was a big mental distraction. Uh, well, listen, count me among the throng. I know you really like puzzles, but I really like you, man. I mean, I know I'm, I'm, I'm you know, pre preaching amongst the many voices, as you said, that you've heard over the past 45 Thank days. You. But ev everything you brought to the season was, was so much fun and so energetic. And I'm looking to see whether it's on an island or on a yeah. mountain, or just back within those walls again. I know you're going to bring it even more so, and then some. You'll run it up, as you like to say. So run it up, let's go. There we go. Always a pleasure talking with you, man. Thank you, you so much, much for taking the time out of such an exciting night to uh, talk with me. Hope you hope anytime. you get that get that shot tequila in you, and then some. All the best to you and Rabina and your family. And I cannot wait to see what happens next with you, man. Thank you so much again. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. Miss you already. Yep. Have a good one, bud. <laughs> Thanks. You too. Bye bye.